Hi, so we're going to produce a ray trace render of our design. So a ray trace render is a process that considers how light um, reflects and acts on different surfaces of your model and therefore creates a realistic image of what your model will look like in reality. As you can imagine, this can be quite a processor heavy um, process. So one of the beauties of Fusion 360 is that it is cloud based and the process can happen um, elsewhere while you can still um, get on with other tasks on your computer. So if we start off, um, we have our model. So if we click on design in the top left corner, it opens up a drop down menu, select render to open up the render window and you'll get a different view. Um, if we click on this symbol here which is to set the scene and all the lighting conditions, um, we're just going to use one of the pre-selected um, scenes. If you want to know more about how to set up um, light settings and light sources, um, I have another video which I'll put a link to um, I can show you more about that. But we're just going to choose a generic one for now. And then we already have um, all the material appearances set on our model, so we can then go straight to render. Now make sure it's cloud rendering, um, not local rendering, otherwise um, it'll try using the processor on your computer and it'll um, slow your computer down and stop you from potentially doing other things. We can click render and then when the image is finished it'll pop up on the bottom um, viewing gallery. You can then produce renders from different viewpoints. So we have a few renders now in our gallery at the bottom, so we can select them and have a look at them, sort of zoom in, look at the detail, um, and then if we want to use them for other purposes, we can download them um, as an image file, such as a PNG or a JPEG. So there's our different views that we've got there. So if I want to download that one, I'll just go for a PNG, because that's good enough for what I want. And we can select um, where we want to save it and what we want to call it and then click done and it will save it to that area and if you open up that image we can see our finished render